and welcome again to Let's Play Shadows of Om. And this is Policy of Madness. Nothing to Last time we killed some dragons. We intended to kill, I think, two dragons. <laughs> Whatever you want. We ended up killing three. Because uh, Firecrag went through a doorway <laughs> and cloned himself. Neither of those dragon fights, well, none of the dragon fights, we ultimately ended up with three, went quite the way that we had intended. So. We uh, kind of screwed up with Saladrax because I forgot that he will go hostile if you summon, uh, you know, summon monster. Of course. Oops, not there. Somewhere along here. If you summon a, a, mo a summon monster uh, anywhere in his area, what am I doing? I can't remember. <laughs> Here we go. Even if it's out of his sight, and uh, essentially I just forgot that. So. Uh, He went hostile when I wasn't actually intending him to do that. If that's what you well, want. Well, this isn't it. Whatever you desire. I wonder if it's this. Here we go. Is that all? They can't see me. I'm invisible. We want the mage to end first. Look, look, look. Look, look. Look, look. Look, look. He's the only truly dangerous opponent. Why does she keep coming towards me? Alright, the rest of these guys are not terribly dangerous. Hmm. <laughs> Plant a blade in your innards, I will. Nothing that's subject to uh, death is especially dangerous. <laughs> so I recall there are a couple of uh, trap things in here. It's kind of amazing that I can't force the block. That with my in you know insane uh, strength that there are some locks that are capable of resisting me. There's another one here when there. Yeah. <clears throat> Socioeconomic uh, privilege behaves like ordinary privilege up to a point. But there comes a point when you have everything that any reasonable person would think is normal uh, for people to have. You know, you're, uh, you have food security, you have housing security. How much are these things worth? 6,000, 12,000, 12,000. Wow. 
plus that mage. 8,000. It's a lot of EXP. Of course, we need a lot of EXP to get to our next level. There's a, this actually does have a level cap. It's, uh, it's 40. Uh, there are some level cap removers that will let you go up indefinitely, but uh, at level 40, uh, <laughs> it'll stop for me. So, you know, you have food security, you have housing security, you're able to access the banking system, you're able to live in a neighborhood that's uh, fairly pacified and safe, has decent schools, you don't necessarily feel a need to send your kids to a private school, because the public schools are, are you know, just fine. Whatever you I'm waiting for. With some planning, uh, and maybe some uh, sacrifice Just on the part of the parents, the kids will have enough money to go to college if they are so inclined and have the talent to do so. What would you like? Just in general, you have a, a you know an, an ordinary life. But you can continue to gain socioeconomic uh, status and corresponding privilege long after whatever you want. You reach the point of uh, middle class. We're going to do the guarded compound next. It's frankly not very well guarded because you can just walk into it. You will suffer. Oh, yes. Golem doesn't last very long. He will smash your face. <laughs> I will crush. We're gonna let the demon take care of these things. <laughs> I will crush. I will crush. I will crush. I will crush. I killed the Nishiru. That's good. I will crush. I will crush. I will crush. Out that are 3D. Fucking hate those things. I'm waiting. Okay. Whatever you desire. Apparently the uh, demon can't see me. Yes. All right. Ali. 
Bush was really the only dangerous part of this. Mainly because of that Nishiru. Alright. What do we got up? Tell me all about it. Okay. Nothing to it. So here we have our enemies. This is not all our enemies. You want. There's supposed to be like five of them. We don't want them around. We're gonna move around too much because we're. Ah, there's the mage. We're in the middle of a. Plant a blade in your inner oh, side, shit. Will. Hmm. See, that was just that was fucking cheating. I'm waiting. Mars Pentis Ha That was just fucking cheating. Throwing a ball does that like all the fucking time. Mm, let's do this. See, he's not even casting. I'm gonna try to get rid of the Vita Fighter types here. Got Keta too. Okay. All right, I got all six of them here. That's good. That's not what I intended to do. We're gonna try to clear out the traps around here. Very Good. 
once you've exceeded the point of having uh, food security, housing security, the ability to attend college, if you know that's your thing, uh, you can continue to go up in socioeconomic uh, status and continue to gain privilege and at this point you're starting to gain privilege that uh, a lot of people would maybe not consider to be legit such as an undue influence on politics say so. yes. people who are incredibly wealthy are also uh, often able to go to college even though they don't really have if that's what you want. a ton of ability you know Aha, uh -huh, thought so. If you have enough money, uh, Harvard will want you. <laughs> I really like the little random voices. I think I might have said that already. The little random um, mentions that you hear in this stronghold. This is actually what most people are referring to when they refer to privilege in, you know, ordinary vernacular English. When somebody says you have privilege, that's usually what they're talking about, is socioeconomic privilege. And furthermore, socioeconomic privilege that is maybe in excess of what uh, most normal people would, ha uh, you know, have access to. I can't fucking believe I ended up with two car smears. <laughs> I'm going to try to sort these between identified items and unidentified items. And, you know, I do understand that that's the reason why people get so fucking pissed. When you tell them that they have privilege and they actually don't have uh, socioeconomic privilege. Socioeconomic privilege is actually probably the most important privilege. Because a, a lot of the privileges that, say, for example, black people lack and uh, white people lack, or not white people, uh, women lack, that black people lack, women lack, that disabled people lack, a lot of these privileges can be uh, overcome uh, either partially or entirely if you have sufficient socioeconomic privilege. Someone who is disabled, who is wealthy, you know, can afford to have a uh, very um, comprehensive mobility aids. Physically disabled, I mean. Can have, afford to have very comprehensive mobility aids. Women who are... Whatever you desire. Uh, wealthy are listened to in a way that poor women are not. This doesn't mean that disabled people and women who are wealthy are not dis you know disadvantaged by their. Is that all? Tell me all about it. By their uh, status uh, and participation in, in a, or um, membership in a uh, oppressed group. But it does mean that having sufficient socioeconomic privilege it can make the uh, someone's membership in an oppressed group uh, not quite as important. This I don't understand. As far as I understand, as far as I know, these are this is the only place you find these things. I'm just again take everything off the ground, uh, even the one GP hat. <laughs> just in order to get rid of it. So this is actually the uh, slave lords of Afkatla. I just killed them. Whatever you want. I believe there was supposed to be a quest that linked the guarded compound with the 
slave trading in Afkatla that was kind of dropped. And uh, they're also linked to the Just Twisted ask. Rune. Hmm. So the Twisted Rune was supposed to be included in that too. It wasn't. What would you Whoops. like? And considering that there were rune assassins Nothing to it. hanging out with uh, Rayjack, probably that was supposed to be included also. So it's basically junk. I'm going to come in I'm going to sell all this shit. Uh, it's not that we super need the money, but before we need leave Bathcatla, we need to... I'm going to actually... If you say so. Drop off these two staves. And give myself some more inventory space. Oops. I have a twitch in my finger. I accidentally uh, keep hitting things. Of course, I'm waiting. It's always there, but uh, it's especially bad today. <laughs> Don't know why. If that's what you want. Okay, there's a couple of um, traps in here which are pretty dangerous. At least one of them is one of those cage traps. It's either uh, imprisonment or um, maze. Uh, it really doesn't make a difference <laughs> because they're both invariably deadly. And, uh, I can't actually tell. Since, the, since they both kill me on, uh, the first hit, as soon as it strikes, I, I can't actually tell which one it is. I wonder if this is where the rune assassins hang out. Yes, because Greece is definitely what I came here for. Fuck. Alright, we'll be back. Especially uh, access to education. Uh, it's a failure of society, and it's a failure to society. When people who have the ability and the uh, drive to attend and exceed in, in college don't actually get to college because they can't afford it. Nothing to it. You know, you think about all the inventors and all of the uh, you know, programmers and all Whatever the people who want. created uh, successful uh, startup companies. A lot of these people had access to a good bit of education. There is the um, almost uh, Cinderella story of people who People who had essentially no education at all, and yet managed to become uh, great.
and extremely successful. And those stories are true. Those are true stories. So, like, all this meat has been sitting out here. Ugh. I bet it smells terrible right now. But it doesn't change the fact that a whole bunch of people who have been success stories have had access to education. And that's the reason why they were success stories. <clears throat> or they had access to other types of things, such as venture capital. Venture capitalists often will not give uh, racial minorities the time of day. You can say it's racism, and you'd be right. Uh, you can also say that it's unintended racism, and you would probably also be correct. But from the perspective of uh, someone who has, is being discriminated against, it frankly doesn't matter. I think my spells are about to run out. I'm going to wait for them to expire so I can refresh them. It frankly doesn't matter if your racism is intentional or subconscious. <laughs> Let's see if we can open this door. The effect is still the same. The effect is that you're not giving them the time of day or access to your venture capital. You know, it doesn't actually matter to them where your racism comes from. What's important is that it is there. <laughs> alcove is empty and leads nowhere. Then why the fuck did they put it in here? I don't understand. There we go. My invisibility is still up. death. the alcoves that leave nowhere. Alright. Ooh, spell ineffective. But that was it. Wow, 24 damage. That's way too much damage for something like uh, Cloud Kill. Or even Death Fog. That must be Incendiary Cloud. That's a serious business trap. <laughs> my protections. Wait out this cloud spell and then we'll finish this up and uh, then we'll be done here. Ha! 
Magic resistance saves, and knowing ahead of time that there is uh, a one of those cage traps in here, Nothing to it. Uh, resulted in our getting away with almost no damage. Certainly, no real danger to ourselves. And that's all there is to the guarded compound. Whatever it is. You have a lot of people getting into, you know, Harvard and Yale who are much less talented and much less driven than uh, many poor if people. So. And yet they wind up getting an amazing education. Oops. Simply because they can afford to pay the tuition. You know, we're going to need a Wanna Frost here in a minute. Because you know what we're about to do? Of course. Look, look, look. Look. Here's our note. Give me back the gong or face my wrath. Because socioeconomic privilege is the one that is the most, uh, arguably the most important. Tell me all about and it's certainly the one that's the most visible because people generally only see the privileges that they don't have. It's only the privileges that you don't enjoy that are, you know, really visible to you. Hey, you there, my lady. It looks like a sword can handle your weapons, eh? That's actually what people are, you know, generally talking about when they talk about privilege in, you know, the English language. <laughs> A destitute teacher who can't even pay his own bar tab. <laughs> Delasar's Inn is kind of weird because I think you can't, you actually can't get in here except through this door. It has another door down here, but I don't know of a way to get there. I mean, how do you, how actually do you get to that door? There's another door up here, but how do you get to it? <laughs> Is there a way into Delasar's Inn except this one? I'm not sure there is. Which is what weird. What are you doing here, you drunken lout? I thought you were well enough banned from this place. Oi, Dennis! You mealy face sucker suet! You owes me the coin for me bar tab! Pay up! Or you'll surely face the consequences! Don't threaten me, you sorry excuse for a thief! I owe you nothing! <laughs> Stole his gong and s traded it for ale. And then he forgot about it.
not running all over Ethcala for this. <laughs> Is that all? So he actually has a adventuring uh, company here. But he can't be fucked to go get his own gong. So we have to we have to do it. Nothing to it. Hmm. Not actually sure why I'm doing this. There's not much reward to it. Whatever. Just for the want. sake of completion, probably. Just add. Uh, so I really understand when you uh, uh, tell someone uh, more or less check their privilege and they say I don't have privilege because the privilege that they lack is socioeconomic privilege. And they don't see that they have white privilege or male privilege or uh, privilege associated with uh, like? not being uh, you know, physically or mentally disabled. Or any number of types of privileges. Ah, oh, I know a discerning eye when I see one. An actual gong? <laughs> I actually wonder what he would say if we hadn't done his uh, sea troll quest. Maybe he'd ask us for money. I don't know. I've always done his sea troll quest. Because you gotta kill the sea troll anyway if you need, want to explore the entire area, and especially if you want to leave Keldorn down there. Which I always do. Do we care about these? I guess the answer was yes. Sometimes there's a troll wizard there, or a kobold wizard, and sometimes a kobold wizard has a sword plus one. Short sword plus one. So maybe that's why I do it. Nothing to it. Yeah. Don't really know. Whatever you want. Pollutions are still hostile. <laughs> and always will be. Alrighty. Druid Grove. We may as well clear out the troll mound while we're here. We didn't the last time. Because, you, you know, so. why? And besides, I knew we'd be coming back. Yeah, I'm honorable, I guess. All right. Tell me all about it. Here's an interesting little aspect of privilege. It is a privilege, of course, to live in an area where uh, you have easy if access to public want. transportation. <laughs>
when Bessie here has a problem. So here's our gong. Covered with a thin layer of cow dung that you can never seem to wash off. Why can't I wash it off? I don't get it. Okay. It's also a privilege to live in an area where you don't have to lock your door at night. Now, uh, you probably almost anyone who lives in a city locks their door at night. But there are still places in the United States where people don't. Where it is literally that safe. You don't have to lock your door at night. You don't even have to close your door at night. You can just leave the screen door and leave your uh, front door open. Okay. This is not actually going to be very dangerous. Daddy, daddy. Credo. Uh -oh. Whatever you okay. want. Incur We're going to try to get all the souls in the same place. kind of a dangerous uh, encounter if you're not as tough as me. Yeah, look at this. We, we hit them with death, and we get EXP for killing them. Then we hit them with the uh, Dragon's Breath, and we get EXP again for killing them again. That's an amazing bug. here we need to explore it. This actually kind of reminds me of the um, what was her name? The lady with the spiders. In the first game. I think this is usable by yeah this is usable by um, Jahira and it's a pretty good weapon. It's too bad that her proficiency with spears kind of sucks. Uh, and this, of course, is great for Imowen or for Yoshimo, who's probably the thief in your party at this point. Personally, I like Yan as a thief much better than Yoshimo, but your mileage may vary. Whatever you tell me all about it. 
We're gonna go finish this up, and then I think we'll actually be done for the day. <clears throat> if you say so. And then next time, I think we have nothing left to do except the plot. <laughs> Even when like no spells up, look at this, negative eight. All my saving throws are at least zero. It's nuts. This game is nuts with how powerful it lets you become. If that's what you want. Whatever you desire. The seas are sure rough this time of year. So he took a, uh, he took half of a, uh, or he took the, um, I'm not going to bother robbing them. They have nothing we need. <coughs> a dung covered stinky all? gong in exchange for half the bar tab. All right. Let's see how many attacks we get with this. Packs too. Okay. We're actually going to be using that most of the time now as our thrown weapon. We are going to keep the dart because some things can only be hit with plus three weapons and then we're going to use it. But the the uh, boomerang dagger does much more damage. The dart is uh, 1d3. The boomerang dagger is uh, 2d4 plus two. Nothing yeah, 1d3 plus 3 versus one, uh, 2d4 plus 2. You know, no contest. Whatever you want. Alright. So that's it for this time. I'm actually going to sell... Um, as much of this shit as I have patience for. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and record it. And it'll be on the end of this uh, video. And I'll have it um, accelerated so that if you're not interested, you don't have to watch it. And I doubt anybody will be interested. It'll be just like the ones from the uh, last Let's Play. If you didn't watch the last Let's Play, well, you're about to encounter that. So I'll uh, see you next time. Later.